Hello, I am the Artipithecus raminus. Arti means soil and Pithecus in Greek means ape, and ramid, which is root in the Amharic language of the place in Ethiopia where I was found. But I prefer to be called Arti. I have an age of 4.4 million years, which corresponds to the Pliocene period, which begins 5.33 million years ago, and ends 2.59 million years ago, more precisely to the Zanklians period. During that period the average global temperature was possibly about 3 degrees Celsius higher than today. This was a time of significant changes in terms of biodiversity, both botanical and zoological, as plants and animals began to settle in different regions, limited by climatic conditions. Also during this period very significant changes took place in the distribution of water masses, an example of this is found in the Mediterranean Sea Basin that was filled again with water coming from the Atlantic Ocean, thus ending the so-called Mycenaean Saline Crisis. In the tree of evolution I am placed in the family Hominidae, in the subfamily of the Hominini, in the same place as the Sahelanthropus the Tugenensis, however, my closest ancestor is the Artipithecus cadaba. It is speculated that my species is a direct ancestor of Australopithecus. This hypothesis places me as the last common relative between humans and chimpanzees. My species became extinct. Due to the location of the fossils, researchers think that I lived in the Wash Valley area in Ethiopia, but fossils have also been found in Kenya, which could belong to other members of my species. In the years 1992 to 1993 some maxillae were found, later in 2005 the discovery of the remains of at least nine individuals in Izduma in northern Ethiopia was reported. Later in 2009 new fossil remains were found in the Afar Valley, where a total of 235 remains of at least 36 individuals of my congeners were found. After the discovery of my almost complete skeleton, many doubts about my species have been resolved. Thus, the shape of the upper part of the pelvis indicates that I was bipedal, and that I walked with a straight back, but the fact that the big toe, also called opposable toe of my hands and feet was deviated inwards, shows that I must have walked leaning on the outside of my feet and therefore I could not travel long distances. Another fact in this regard is that the arch of my foot is not pronounced, which also indicates that it would have been difficult for me to walk upright for long distances. To all this, we must add that my cranial position indicates a certain degree of bipedalism, since the base of my skull, which is of small size, is located just above the spine, also my pelvis, my femur, and my tibia indicate bipedalism. The proportion of my physical constitution is largely different from that of a chimpanzee or a modern human, which implies that these differences originated after a separation between the two species. My brain size was approximately 350 cubic centimeters similar to that of a chimpanzee. My height is about 1.20 meters, and I weighed about 50 kilograms. As far as my dentition is concerned, I have similarities with modern apes, but also some characteristics of my own that reveal a relationship with humans. The size of my molars was relatively large compared to my other teeth. The thickness of my enamel was less than that of Australopithecus, but greater than that of a chimpanzee. My premolars were arranged in a manner similar to those of the human. These, among other characteristics indicate that I fed mainly on vegetables, although I could also eat vertebrates and small insects, therefore, I had a more omnivorous diet than a chimpanzee. It is possible that I also fed on fruits, nuts, eggs and small mammals. When I lived 4 million years ago, Aramis was a lush jungle crossed by rivers and watercourses, very similar to a very humid forest without being rainy. The fauna was composed of animals such as elephants, antelopes, giraffes, saber-toothed, some types of monkeys and several species of birds. There is no evidence of specific cultural attributes. However, they may have used simple tools similar to those used by modern chimpanzees such as branches, sticks and other easily manipulated plant materials, as well as unmodified stones.